Comms check. Comms check. Sevens in on the free view, won't we? Or one or two of them. Yeah. Welcome, folks. Uh, Miami International. A quick. Uh, oh, I say quick. You got an hour, and um, we are at the um, front end of 09, the runway 09, one of um, four active runways here at uh, Miami International. This is kind of the heavy runway uh, to a degree. Longest of them, I think around about 13,000 feet. Um, but we are expecting, uh, we were at the kind of, at, kind of at the cargo end of the field, but. Um, So um, over here we have uh, cargo stands for um, Avianca, Atlas Air, uh, amongst others, um, some um, LATAM of course, we've got that uh, Aloha um, freighter over there which was in yesterday, another LATAM jet, great looking 767, uh, Miesk, um, working on behalf of uh, DHL, I believe, or is it uh, Avianca? I think they might be working on behalf of Avianca. Uh, see that a lot in the cargo industry, in the cargo world. <clears throat> uh, whether it's a, 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 an ad hoc uh, mission, but most of these are sort of like daily missions. Let's just uh, get me phone a little bit more uh, so I can clearly see it. So, of course, talking to my members, you can come in and get involved in the chat if you wish. Uh, but obviously, I'll be talking to my members. Uh, Kirsty Finch has upgraded to me uh, first class. So, Kirsty's going to be joining us uh, for the rest of today. We're down from the other end of the runway, which is uh, overlooking the airport. More runway views, etc., etc. expecting um, 747s in around about 747 around about four 747s inbound here we go now this should be uh, hopefully a nice loud departure 
Oh, Ryan Crossland, yeah, we're aware of that. That was announced on the on the day of the issue with the Max that it would take eight hours for the inspection. The majority of that will obviously be removing the inner panel. Is it a turn and burn departure? I think it might be. Get the hell out of here real quick because you've got an aircraft behind you. Fire it up! Probably a commerce freight load, I'd imagine. So, uh, not that heavy. Of course, uh, everything gets um, carried from, from here. We saw engines yesterday. So it does depend on the, um, on the operation. Not a lot of separation there. Susie. Good morning everyone, great to have a better time for New Zealand viewers. Fabulous noise and livery, awesome. GP, are you, uh, are you there or why am I hearing myself? I just heard myself there. So this is a, um, this is likely to be, I'd imagine, what we're seeing here, this, uh, this aircraft approaching here. So runway 12 arrival, I think, uh, this 737. So you'll see, uh, if you're looking on Flight Radar 24 right now, you'll see the f um, four active runways. I think the uh, northern runways, is it 25 or, uh, or 26 maybe? Slightly different um, compass, almost almost uh, parallel with, uh, with 9s and 27s. So that's 08 possibly, I don't know. Um, enjoying two great days here with my uh, with my members um, and uh, it has been quite quite an adventure already I think this is our third time in Miami just doing a um, a, a ground scan for any um, caterpillars <laughs> what are they called the um, woolly bear the woolly bear caterpillar great name for it Oh, there's one, look. Here's one. Here's one, look. He just disappeared. There he is, look. <laughs> I'm going to go and pick him up because I know for a fact that they don't. Hello, Charlie. Hello, yeah, mate. It's a little one. Charlie's famous. Look at his little face, look. Hello, mate. <laughs> Let's put him down.
and they're perfectly safe folks uh, they're not poisonous well it might be poisonous to eat but um what we got got anything coming in on nines jilly <laughs> i've come all the way down here we're waiting for uh, some 747s folks if you look on your flight radar 24 apps right now you'll um you'll be to see what's uh, what's inbound and uh the likelihood is it's almost guaranteed the 747s will um, will come in on this runway even though the two of the upper northern runways are uh uh, one of them is quite long. Jeffrey Stewart has upgraded to first class. Going to be joining us this afternoon. Craigie Gerard, good afternoon to you, Trev Lyon. Melody Gordon Freeman. Charlie, the newest member. C and E's. Uh, getting Miami as I just upgraded myself I'm hoping I'm in your in season ease C and E's welcome good to see you uh, I think they've upgraded possibly Raptor X Avianca 320 next in on nines Rohit Parkal uh, Rohit I did um, I, 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 I handled a couple of them yesterday and uh, I didn't wake up this morning with any rashes or anything like that um, very dangerous. So like, you know, like a tiger shark or something. <laughs> I think I'm all right, Rohit, but thank you anyway. Trev and I, Philip Larry, Stuart Watson. I'm not going to scratch my eyes or, um, you know, uh, bite my nails or put my fingers anywhere near my mouth, so I should be all right. Oh, okay, Rohit's just kidding, okay, fair enough. Rash. Nothing over the top, TP. I mean, you know, if, if uh, you've wanted to get anything over the top, downtown Miami in the back, uh, in the backdrop there, folks, or parts of it, I would have said, the northern sector of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, number of control towers here. The first one we call that Boba Fett. Uh, the other one, which uh, from the hotel balcony, looks very much like a robot um, what is it Mickey M metal Mickey in it um, we call that one and then this one here which I believe might be a tower that controls this sort of sector down here I'm not 100% sure but um, uh, zombie Tog didn't know Maersk had an airline well there you go Maersk shipping of course Avianca obviously both operate both freight and passenger jets into here Yeah, so um, it's a bit like the uh, the whole. Um, it was a big shipping line that uh, the big shipping line that uh, started operating with the triple seven. Why is it? Uh, so it's part of the evil group, is it? Uh, Avianca three twenty. Thank you. Uh, so there we go. Yeah, uh, you normally see the mask. You will see the um, mask livery on. Uh, No, no. Spywalks, good spot, thank you for that. Aidan Campbell, Boeing 747 from Lima. 23 minutes out, folks, so, um, and I think that the, 20, uh, the, the 747s that we have inbound are within sort of like 20 minutes, uh, within a 20 minute period, we'll, we've got four inbound. So uh, if, you, if you're a 747 lover, which uh, let's face it, if you're an aviation, geek of any type um, or even a non-aviation fan you'll know what a 747 is there's the 747 Atlas Air Jet lurking behind there it's gonna be some time before she goes out but hopefully uh, later on today with my members we'll get to see at least one jumbo jet going out of here and I won't be standing in the elevator while it climbs out 
um, and um, so on and so forth. Bring on the Queens, Phil uh, Philkins, Gerald Avery. You see mass containers all over America. There we go, yeah. Um, it's a bit like uh, with... Um, I can see it now, I can see it now. Not that, not that long ago they started to operate in the 777 freighters. CN, yeah, CMG, CM, CMG, isn't it? Um, CM, CN, yeah, uh, oh, CGM, CGM. CGM, that's it, yeah. Sun County, or Sun Country. Uh, being in America, we see uh, all sorts of exotic uh, liveries here, especially the American Airlines um, retro jets that we've seen quite a few of. Hear that uh, squealing noise there, folks? It's not the brakes of the aircraft. CMACGM, there we go. Um, yeah, you see a lot of the uh, containers. In fact, there you go, CMACGM. I could have said it right there, actually. There's a couple of 40 footers sitting there, look. Uh, and I think that Evergreen isn't Eva. Isn't Eva Air? Don't they have an Evergreen and Eva Air are part of the same uh, same operation as well. So, um, but CMACGM started their air cargo uh, operation. Obviously, I think CMACGM are one of the biggest shipping um, freight shipping companies in the world. But um, Obviously, after post-pandemic, I think they, um, as a result of their um, their successes uh, during the pandemic with with freight, or or at least their operations, uh, they they had to create a freight uh, an air freight arm, and as a result of that, um, realised the potential. Um, obviously, having a very uh, sophisticated logistics system with. Um, their uh, uh, sea freight operations. Uh, Rohit Park, our CMAC gym, are very frequent visitors to Mumbai from Baku. Uh, you're probably right there. Um, we've seen them. Where have we seen the CMAC gym? Well, seen them at Heathrow, haven't we? I think we've seen um, a couple of triple sevens in at Heathrow um, more than once. Our Lima 747 is now approaching Florida's Everglades. Everglades, sorry, Avro Arrow. Red uh, Raptor X next 09 is Aruba's A320 from Havana. Uh, Matisse Goosens is a brand new member. Welcome, Matisse. Or is it Matisse? Sorry uh, if I've pronounced that incorrect. Yeah. Cessna 680A Citation Latitude, Larry saying that one that we just caught going out at the top runway. Brian Cassidy, um, Charles D, thanks for the gift. Sorry, I was in the kitchen when you made it. So, Brian Cassidy giving the shout out to Charles for the membership. Thank you. Mark Powell is a brand new member and uh, joining us this afternoon, um, continuing on into, uh, into darkness, more than likely. Um, we'll either move from here back to the um, back to the, the hotel balcony, which um, which has great views over the airfield. I think we did a free view last time from from the balcony, didn't we? You'll have to look back for that at uh, that one, folks. Um, Mark B C L E Charles D. Enjoy Brian Cassidy H G C Matisse. The second pronunciation is the correct way. Thanks, Matisse Goosens. Red uh, Ted T. Finally, Big Jet T is in my time zone. There we go, Ted. Good to see you. Thank you, my friend Scott Thompson. Um, LA girl, Matisse Goosens. Welcome. Sure, I've seen that name before. Um, is he returning? Or, uh, but uh, that's a familiar name. Why is that a familiar name, Matisse Goosens? Or is it Goosens? I don't know. Anyway, um, but a very warm welcome to you, my friend. Is that a Another, is that a triple seven sitting there, oh, um, an all white unmarked triple seven. Yes, we are. <laughs> Jose, Jose, you're correct. Oh, 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 oh. 
Fryer, Scott Thompson, Tim Rotunda, Brian Cassidy, Dazzo. Oh, blimey. Um, uh, Steph's gifted five memberships. Thanks, Steph. Too much what? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what? Um, somebody mentioning about the 94th Squadron Aero. Um, there's, a, there's a restaurant just down the road here, literally um, a mile away from here. And yeah, you, could, uh, you, you can go there, you can sit outside and you can uh, watch the planes. But for us, um, we, it's too below the fence line. So you'd be filming through the fence, which is a big no-no for me. That's uh, something that I would not entertain. Um, but a great restaurant, uh, you can visit there and put the, didn't we go there Jilly? And you put, we put the headset on and you can listen to the ATC and you can listen to ATC, I seem to recall. Um, Barbara Sinan um, has gifted five memberships, thank you Barbara. Um, Jane, like, we did feed the cats, uh, Beverly George, Jorge, uh, is that Jorge Pedrero, uh, Trevor Lyon. BBLLB, uh, our very own member pilot, flies for American Airlines, um, 737 MAX pilot, he's just on the, obviously on the 8, American Airlines not operating the 9, so uh, let's talk about that the better. Doug Gilmore, uh, yes you can hear the ATC, my s yeah, Kayleigh Gardner, John Walton had to come and go today, no, it uh, lights out, John Walton. Uh, I'll um, I'll test you on that one, John. See if you're here later. LA girl, Brian Cassidy, Nigel Armstrong, Captain Manny. He's another uh, resident pilot with um, with us. Hopefully, doing some stuff with him and FedEx in the future. Um, Screaming Emu is uh, another one who's um, I think he's flying at the moment, or is he still stuck? On... <laughs> is he still stuck on the? He's going to London, isn't he? And he's got to be, he was, uh, it was, he, he was uh, stuck on the apron um, out in the middle of the airfield with, with the engines off uh, because um, they were, they were going to be arriving in London earlier and London could not give them a slot um, because otherwise there would have been like London is always very busy in the morning in the whole patterns. Smith Aviation, I thought Miami would be busier. Well, Smith, Aviation, um, you're not wrong. Um, because we are uh, only um, focusing on one particular side end of the uh, of the airfield. This is right down at the far end of zero nine. Um, obviously, right down at the other end, there is a lot more action with the domestic stuff and international. Of course, the international terminal, all the way far the way down there, which where you can see Emirates has. Um, so that Emirates uh, triple, he's obviously coming on, what's he coming on? Has he coming on 12? Have we missed that? Um, good thing is that uh, all the 747s are more than likely to, uh, to come in on this runway. And uh, just hang fire, folks, and you will be pleasantly surprised. Barbara Cena, we got you, Barbara. Thank you. A couple of go-arounds late yesterday, which was quite interesting. High-speed approach. Well, not high-speed, but faster approach for the 737. Although it looks like that. Brian Cassidy, Gerald Avery. Is he flying JetBlue? Oh, okay, interesting. That'd be good to get some. That'd be good to get some. E what? 
is in mint, as in mint class. Rick Rashid, give it a shout out to Barbara Sinan for the gifted membership. Very kind thing to do, Rohit. Uh, did you see that Boeing whistleblower video? Is it the Max is doing? <laughs> no, I didn't see that. Uh, Boeing whistleblower. Um, well, there's a lot of opinion out there at the moment, isn't there? Um, but, um, you know, it's just, uh, it'll be old news in, an, in, in, in a couple of months, folks. Um, and, uh, you know, the, it, it, I, I, I wouldn't say the Max is doomed. I think that's a very unfa unfair statement. Um, I would have said the Max is in serious trouble um, if there had have been any fatalities on that aircraft. In other words, if the two people that were supposed to be sitting next to that uh, exit, well, not exit, but the, uh, the plug door, um, had have been on the flight. Anyway, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about uh, aeroplanes and, uh, and watch this busy airfield. Trev Lyon, that's very kind of you. Leo Densian, uh, 747 second in the line. Thank you, Leo Densian, Supersonic Concorde. First 747 just turned finals, thank you. Uh, Will W, Caribbean, the former British West Indian Airways. BWIA, yes, I remember them. I remember British West Indian Airways. Uh, very colourful. Uh, livery 707s wasn't it BWAI operated uh, Tony Duty has gifted five memberships thanks Tony We're gonna have some new um, members joining us this afternoon Graham Thompson that's all right Rohit don't worry about it it's fine mate. you don't need to apologize I'm just gonna make a quick slight adjustment on this Get ready for your jumbo jets, folks. Uh, Aidan Campbell, Dutch Boeing 747. Yeah, of course, it's a KLM Martin Air. Martin Air being the freight arm of KLM. Um, I think this is a pure freighter as well. Of course, they did operate combis back in the day, but I think they've disposed of all of them. Shamrock 105, how many Trent engine variants are there? In what, in what respect? Brian Cassidy, yeah, it's got to be a subject that needs to be uh, uh, brought up, is that uh, stupid um, idea of the se twin engine 747. Never going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. Cuddly Haggis is gifted a membership. Burley Bryan, welcome back, first class member. Is this Polar? Atlas. Okay. 
about that base. Matisse Goosens. Anyone know the best spot in T2 at Heathrow to see Concord? It's on the far end, isn't it, of, of the T2 gates. You have to be in the gates, obviously. You'd have to be a, a flying from T2. But, um, yeah, the far end, isn't it, of, uh, of the T2 gates. That's a pure freighter there, folks, at 400. Identifiable by its um, its short upper deck. And the reason for that is the reason why they um, adopted that with the freighters. Of course, that whole front end it's got the uh, it's got the the tilt nose on it as well, the front load operation, um, which makes it uh, you know a much more viable aircraft in terms of offering. Uh, oversized cargo operations, you know, because you can come straight in through the nose. So extra long parts like, um, you know, big long Trains, even you know, parts of trains and stuff like trucks. Um, but um, Simon Hurd and Matisse Goose. Oh, where you can listen to ATC. LiveATC.net is where you can listen to ATC, folks. So you can literally watch this and also tune in to Live ATC as an app on your phone. Um, you'll have to uh, scroll through all the different options in terms of which ATC to listen to, whether you're listening to ground, whether you're listening to approach, whether you're listening to departures. Approach would obviously be uh, for zero nines if you can do it. Uh, Avro Arrows gifted a membership. Thanks, Avro Arrow. Uh, Aidan Campbell, MP6141 Boeing 747 KLM cargo operated by Martin Air Holland. 16 minutes out, folks. Uh, Mr. Rigsby. Well, we kind of went through that yesterday with the whole Global Air thing. Um, I think um, I, I, I did, I was, and I, I will stand by my quote that I've got more chance of a plane flying out of Staines International than I have uh, than we'll see uh, the likelihood of us seeing a, um, a global airlines uh, A380 flying I really don't see it happening myself um, he certainly um, sort of got I wouldn't say got the world talking in terms of uh, you know um, but he's got the aviation industry uh, obviously talking about it initially initially he did now people are sort of like yeah whatever you know because every time he puts a post out it's either of him at some swanky party or um you know uh, uh making some kind of crazy announcement that they're going to spend like billions of dollars on um reconfiguring the aircraft in terms of its uh, cabin uh, and so on and so forth you know um it just uh, it, uh anyway i'm gonna shut up and let this 747 do the talking
Archie. Actually, Archie has been. Um, we, we, we did. Uh, we did. No, no, we did. Uh, we did. We did give, give him a chance, but he didn't pass them. Yeah. So they will be narrowing the show this week. <laughs> we should do that, man. We should do. Take me out of it. Yeah, no, exactly. I'm not. Rank up aviation. Where would you most likely commonly see a 747 landing and taking off? Uh, Anchorage, uh, to be honest with you, rank up. But uh, you know, it's pretty busy here for the jumbo, isn't it? Sophie, Tony Duty, Heidi 69310, uh, Trev Line, 10 knots. What's 10 knots? I mean, actually, you know what you could do, Julie. You could go through the go go through the footage. There must be one with where 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 I've got out of the chair, where I've got out of the chair, and it's just the chair. And yeah. <laughs> oh, this is a seven sixty-seven, isn't it? Trev Lyon, great shots. Next one, Coletta, 747, 15 minutes out. Uh, this is Latam Freighter, 767, 300 from Bogota. Raptor X, thank you. I think they're taking a lot of their, their, their passenger jets, their 767s, and converting them to freighters. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, uh, Jill Watkins, first of all. I wonder why Atlas Air only uh, display their name um, small on the front of this aeroplane. They're probably talking about that uh, jumbo there. Just because it's uh, it's a lease. Um, uh, what was the name? Um, oh, must, sorry, but it's it's basically a, a lot of these aircraft are leased either long term or short term and they just don't have time to uh, to put any markings on them uh, that was probably once um, uh, polar air possibly um, that was uh, operated by atlas air um, but there are all sorts of uh, different combinations of lease uh, operations um, which is why sometimes uh, they don't have the time. But I was talking about the hump on the 747, of course. It works perfectly, it works best for the, um, for the operators. Um, because if you, uh, if, you can, if you put a 747-400 uh, um, uh, passenger freighter, a conversion jet, uh, next to one that, doesn't, that, that is a, a, a pure freighter, you'll see the extended upper deck um, and because of that extended upper deck, obviously they're limited to the amount of height that they have for loading cargo. So they've just got more capacity. And you can offer more to the client in, way, in the way of um, uh, tall freight. You know, because sometimes, you know, if, uh, if, if, uh, if a customer comes to you and says, base up, customer comes to you and says yeah you know what we've got X amount of height on these on these pallets we've got 16 pallets there are certain height you know you might be limited to the um, you, restricted to the height that you can offer them um, 
whereas uh, with, a, with a 400 uh, converted uh, passenger um, to freight jet, whereas with the, um, the original cargo variant, because uh, of the shortness of the hump, um, you've got all that length, and it is a long length, let's face it, I mean, um, uh, it, it just gives you more availability and more flexibility um, as, a, as a charter company to offer the aircraft um, in different uh, configurations for the interior. Bobo, how good is the engine sounds? Loving it, thank you. I do like from time to see seeing these random um, comments about the audio. Um, and that's why I'm hoping that sometimes if you, like I said, mentioned yesterday, if you're, if you're running a decent set of speakers, headset or whatever it might be, headphones, and you crank the bass up, um, when these things throw on the reverses, uh, you do pick it up. Uh, Gerald Avery, UPS leased some Coletta and Atlas Queens for the holiday rush. There you go, you see. Um, it, is, uh, it is a bit, uh, especially when you're doing commerce freight as well. Uh, that's um, sort of like if you get a commerce contract. Face up, folks. You see if ends can uh, lay it on quite thick with the reverses. Easy, Sam. Here we go. as uh, aggressive as the previous one. Leo Densian, you may see the KLM passing you to the east. Uh, what's that, GP? <laughs> that, that makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever and not only that but the whole thing with global is uh, you know the first thing is parking rights um, uh, they're, 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 they're supposedly operating uh, from Gatwick uh, and Emirates operates from Gatwick and I can tell you now uh, if Emirates if global turn if Emirates uh, uh, operate um, uh, 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 are asked oh do you mind if we allow global airlines to use your gate they'll be like, no mate no, we're not, we're not paying you special landing fees and rights uh, so that somebody else can come and um, sit at our gate. No, no, you're all right. Leave their uh, empty Coke cans and um, baked bean tins lying around. <laughs> we're not cleaning up their mess. That's not United, folks, it's Copa Airlines. Oh, isn't it beautiful though? You hear that white? That... Sebasti has upgraded to first class. Sebasti going to be joining us uh, after we cut the free view feed, which will be in about, what, well, I don't know, um, how long have we got, GP? 14 minutes. So how many 747s are we going to get in 14 minutes? Jerry, need anything from Wendy's? What's that, mate? You need anything from Wendy's? I'm all good, thank you. Thanks anyway. Cheers, man. Uh, what's that, GP? How many? 
Okay, so we've got at least two more. Okay, Raptor X, two 747s within the next 10 minutes. There we go. Uh, Captain Manny, JBU1107. What's that? I don't know. Uh, Kaylee Gardner. Aviation in 4K. Thank you, my friend. I think that's our mate, isn't it? Where's he gone? See you in a bit, mate. Um, that's our man. ES, I think that's ES, isn't it? We just, uh, yeah, I think that's ES. I think I recognise him from his Hooters apparel. Or app apparel. What's that? Say that again, Julie? You been a what? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. What about the test? No test ones or anything? Andrew Monks, a Emirates don't own any gates at Gatwick. I'm not saying they own it. Uh, oh, this is, not, this is Frontier's new green uh, livery chair. I'm not saying they own it, my friend. I'm saying that they have rights to it and exclusive rights, I think you'll find. Um, I might be wrong, but uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, Emirates have um, worked with Gatwick on that. Probably got their branding all round it, or whatever it might be, I don't know, but... Hey, you know, I might be wrong, but... Uh... I don't think anyone owns any gates, Andrew, at Gatwick. Um, I think it's just a case of, uh, you know, um, maintaining relationships, let's put it that way. Oh, sorry, mate. Uh, we can't bring your 380 in today because we've got a Global Airlines 380 stuck at gate because their engines won't work. Oh, okay. <laughs> How did that all happen? Then? <laughs> I just saw VS117. watched that series for how many years and didn't know what the uh, what it actually meant brilliant Landon Campbell uh, Atlas Air 747 N445MC May 2003 delivered by the sounds of it Dav Dav If, uh, if the Avi Anchor Jet's ready to go, is that the one that's uh, um, Oh no, she's still got her main deck cargo door well and truly open. So interesting um, update on the um, on the A321 freighters that were converted um, for Lufthansa. It's the, uh, the, 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 the cracks were found. Uh, first of all, not to be in any way um, uh, uh, a danger to the aircraft in terms of its uh, flight capabilities uh, or safety or anything like that but um, it was not anywhere near the door itself it's at the back and on the floor section somewhere CMA CGM Jerry Peter Graham saying what's that what's CMA CGM Joe War is a um, new member. Welcome, Joe. Great to see you here. Um, obviously, going to be joining us for the rest of the day. Because, uh, three seven forty sevens within ten minutes. Raptor X. Oh, we can't. We can't let. We'll get them all for free view, mate. We've got to do that. I'm sure our members would be more than happy for that to happen.
Oh no, really? You can't fake it. No, you can't. You can't. No, can't work your Photoshop magic. Uh, Leroy, um, I think we call it Martin Air, don't we? Even though it's in the KLM livery, uh, this is um, the uh, freight arm of KLM, and it is uh, Martin Air. Used to operate aircraft with the Martin Air livery. I think they still do, don't they? Certainly remember uh, their 747s with Martin Air. Uh, Philbo's got it live on ATC 09 arrivals. There we go. Ah, oh, twice gate. Let the freebies see the jumbos. Yeah. I think everybody's uh, agreeing unanimously on that. Uh, thank you, everybody. Too many of you to mention about uh, giving this to the Freeview audience. Thank you, everybody. I'm reading your comments now, and thank you. up Rotev 1B, uh, welcome back Rotev. A thing of beauty, people saying, great decision. Uh, Steams, are you streaming the rocket launch tonight? Well, we'll be live uh, for the rocket launch tonight, won't we Jilly? I think, um, but it's a case of whether we'll see it or not. It's gonna be overcast to start with, so I would have thought it's highly unlikely. There, on the field, the Wichity Grub fuel tanker waiting to find its prey. Andrew Boothman saying, I like the middle of the O on the KLM cargo is a square, not sure why. Is that maybe something to do with the freight? The fact that it's a square freight or something? I don't know. I know what he's talking about. I've noticed that before. Is that on the... Uh, is that on the normal KLM jets as well? Oh no, of course it won't be because <laughs> KLM Cargo. Um, okay, I think that might be something to do with the um, the, the, the um, profile of the interior. Chris Phillips, 747 Rock, Philip Lowry. Rivers. Uh, Aidan Campbell, 747. Inbound. Uh, LFC, nice to see the old Martin Air logo at the front of the Queen. I didn't notice it, but I'll tell you what, we'll pick it up. Indicating that they're going to be operating that aircraft for a little while yet, I would imagine. Coletta 747, next in Raptor, uh, Raptor X, thank you. <laughs> I do get around, don't I? Oh man. 
I get around <laughs> Round, round, get around, I get around <laughs> We get around <laughs> We do get around though, don't we? More than anybody else, I have to say, and I'm more than confident to say that. I will travel more uh, distance in one month than other channels travel in a whole year. Got to be said, but anyway, there we go. It is what it is. Good luck to $9.99 for a picture of a cat. Uh, okay, number eight on flight radar, HGC, this Coletta 747. This is a beautiful airliner. Freightliner, should I say. It's in the old livery as well. Well, is this a pure freighter? Or is it one of the conversions? I don't know, this is a 400. Wow, I can hear the KLM jet behind me, man. Listen to this. a long top this is a conversion yeah let's just quickly jump on that as he's talking about the O on the cargo look at that yeah see I think that is definitely something to do with the, uh, the, the, the configuration. Jake uh, Clapham has upgraded to first class. Trevline, beauty. These two aircraft are number two and three on Flight Radar 24, folks. Absolutely awesome. I'm pretty sure that is um, a clever piece of um, work by the um, designers with Martin Air slash KLM Cargo. Now that, that you just saw there taxiing folks, is a pure freighter. She's got nose load capability. Now this is a converted passenger jet that you're looking at here with uh, Coletta. Yes, if you're wondering, part of uh, Connie Coletta's uh, organization. The drag racing family. I think that actually that, uh, I think it was the, I think it was the airline, the, the, the cargo operations first and the uh, Connie Canetta. Yeah. Look at that shuddering horizontals, man. So Coletta's gone the other side, uh, normally does. Um, Hopefully, we'll probably see that going out a little bit later on, I'd imagine. That'll be viewable from the, um, from the, from the balcony position that we've got. Uh, Glyn James, there we go. You see Coletta 747, original delivery to Malaysian Airlines, 1989. See the big, long top deck on it. Uh, limits the amount of space they've got for tall cargo, to, for tall freight for tall freight um, and of course it does not have a, um, a, a nose load operation capability on that jet just the um, I say just but uh, has the, the cargo door um, cut into the side of it next 747 on its way well, we're getting a right feast of uh, jumbo jets here eh? man this is nuts Stream and they shall come. Kaylee Gardner's cousin Jennifer. Jennifer, Jennifer. Longy's got a red star.
Who's this? Is this is Atlas. Yes, I have. I have. I know. I know. I know. Pure freighter. Pure freighter. Now we all should know. Maybe late reverses? No. It's quite light. It must be quite light. Philip Lauer, it's like Anchorage, <laughs> isn't it? It's like a, a, a little, a, a little um, look into what it's like at Anchorage. Um, Sort of like getting the Anchorage blues um, recently, haven't we, Jilly? Uh, in terms of like, you know, it's late for though, is it? Yeah, it's. Yeah, this time of year for Anchorage, it's very, very difficult. Um, flight options, um, some of the layovers are like 11 hours or however long it might be, it's insane. Uh, or maybe even longer. Leslie McIntosh, never ever get bored of watching seven, but you can't, can you? Oh, hello, hello. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, here we go. Oh, we can have one of these going out as well. No, they said go, they said go another 30 minutes, mate. Everyone, well, but lots of people. Oh, sorry, mate. I, I thought you'd be looking at the. Okay, all right. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, members, just stand by because we are going to go a little bit longer. Uh, a lot of people did say that it's fine for us to continue on uh, a little bit longer for our uh, for our, uh, our lucky free view audience. Um, I don't want to. I, I want to share it with the world, man. I, you know, if I could do this if, if I was a multi-millionaire or, or even not that, I just or retired and had loads of money. I'd do all this free of charge, of course, but. Um, we do, we're very fortunate in that we have a very generous and a very lovely group of members from around the world. Um, and uh, they have very kindly said uh, to continue on with the Freeview for a little bit longer so we can get all these jumbo jets. But now we are even luckier because we've got one going out and that's going to taxi down here and take off from here, folks. So um, with any luck as well, she'll be held um, at the entry point for a little bit because that generally is what they do if there's a stream of aircraft coming in um, and they're quite tight here she's firing up already Bitter chance share the love of aviation. Terry Stapley's gifted five memberships. That's very kind of you, Terry. I wonder if this uh, 747's going to be sitting there waiting for the other jet to uh, free up its space. I don't know. Ian Morrison, we are brilliant. <laughs> I think that is. Um, that is basically says it all, doesn't it? And we are very, very lucky. Oh, American 777 next in, somebody saying there. John Walton, thank you. Kaylee Gardner, Amar Sanghera. Thank you, Terry. Clipper 707, volunteering at Food Pantry now. We'll check in later. That's a great thing to be doing. That shows how nice our members are. Look at that. Clipper 707, volunteering at a food pantry. 
put it on there, um, Clipper. Let everyone watch it and we'll say hello to everybody there. Ben Brown, good evening to you, painter girl. Nick Gray, wish the 747 need to do an engine run up while they're holding. Uh, a lot of those going on with snowing. That's Kboas. Yeah, so she's holding position there while this uh, her sister ship gets herself going. B B L L B. Um, thank you, sir. Gifting a membership. Of course, all the gifted memberships going to be joining us. I think she's got uh, CF6 power on this 747. So, and as you can see there, she's a pure freighter. Just about see the nose split in the nose there. You see the see the split down the front from below the flight deck. That's the uh, nose loader which opens right up. Big smiley face. Now let's triple seven in next. What a shot that is, man. Chilly and Sankey, I'm in 747 heaven. It is just fantastic. Okay, who wants a bit of triple seven? Looks like she's a Rolls Royce powered jet, this one. It's a, is it? It's a 200? I think it's a 200, American triple seven 200 with Rolls Royce. Trent eights. membership to first class. Thank you Chris. Still not fired up his engines just yet. Number one and number two. Thank Chris. Captain Manny's gifted uh, five memberships. Thank you Josh Martin is a new member. Keep the comms down because I want to get this whole startup sequence. C5 Allen has upgraded to first class. I think I've seen C5 Allen. Galaxy Man. Mimi's gifted a membership, thank you. Nick Gray has gifted five memberships as well. It's hard to keep track of all these gifted memberships, thank you. Should we give some memberships, Jilly? Chris Noonan, yes, the nose of that 747 does open up. Any freighter that you see with a uh, with an old 100 hump on it. Oh, look at this lovely old 757. How about this?
Scream and Emu, thank you. Uh, Cheetah 1903 has also gifted a membership. You've got Scream and Emu, thank you, my friend. Gifted a membership. Cheetah 1903, my first gift. Scott Thompson, very kind of all gifters indeed. Tyra Sandy. That is just a fantastic shot in it. Flops and slats are extended on this jumbo. Ken O'Neill is uh, now a first class member. Welcome, Ken. Paul Malagrat has gifted a membership. Thank you, Paul. Malatrat, sorry. Robert Dodd has gifted 10 memberships. What's all these names? I don't even know these names. Just amazing people, amazing people. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. Four-year membership. Oh, hello, wait a minute. Seven six coming out to play as well, man. MZ Poo. <laughs> Welcome, MZ Poo. <laughs> She's on the move. Here we go. Hoping for a nice long string of uh, of inbounds so that we get this Atlas Air jet um, holding at the um, the entry point. But not only that, gives this uh, DHL 767 a little bit of time to um, make its way down the taxiway and join the queue. Welcome Kevin Whiteley. Yeah. You're right. Volume up indeed. Tico Sprinter. Welcome Tico. Mike Clements, 747s, looking at the first crush as a kid. Ms. Liz is a new member. Welcome, Ms. Liz. Tico Sprinter, new to the channel, but Ian Paul watches these awesome live streams, so I thought I'd join in. Good to see you, Tico Sprinter. Welcome, everybody. All new members, welcome all new viewers. Hope you're well. We're uh, live twice a week from the UK. Domestic shows, Wednesdays and Sundays from London Heathrow and other places as well. We do military shows as well. Due for a military show quite soon. Um, and of course we, um, we travel across the water and across land. Um, intercontinental shows uh, from the US at least one a week, uh, one a month. <laughs> Easy, Jerry. Um, <laughs> and a European show. We're going to be in uh, Toulouse next week. So all you new members are going to be joining us in Toulouse as well. Question that. Our Atlas Air, the biggest operators of the 747. I think you'll find that uh, UPS are, uh, are, um, are, are close to being the largest operator of the 747. Uh, Atlas Air, pretty big, got to be said, but uh, I think UPS as a single operator 
are possibly one of the largest operators of the jumbo jet out of Louisville, Kentucky. Oh, okay. Luca Naif. Victoria Edwards, sir, uh, Dolph question, do pure freighters only open from the nose and don't have a cargo door? No, um, the, uh, the nose freighters do have a cargo door. Um, so that's why it's, it's just such a great um, option to offer uh, the customer. Uh, especially, like I say, if you've got a, um, a wind turbine or something like that, um, where that can't be broken down, especially, you know, the turbine blades are massively long. The only way to get them in an aircraft is either use um, a heavy lift aircraft like the, uh, uh, the AN-124 um, or the IL-76 um, or something like this, the, uh, the, the 747 nose load freighter and that DHL 767 has indeed made its way. Oh, it's just Louisville, is it? Not Louisville, Louisville. Okay, say about that. Okay, so number one is Atlas Air with 48. Okay, uh, a UPS are the largest operator of the 747-8, um, but um, yes, Atlas Air are the little, ooh, easy son, easy. 48 to 41, Cargo Lux as well, wow. Uh, Simon Purden, Atlas Air is reckoned to be the biggest 747 freighter operator with 52 aircraft, thank you Simon. Uh, Infinity, Jerry, yeah, I sent a couple of 321XLR and NX up to Toulouse to Cardiff, um, from Toulouse to Cardiff for hot fuel testing. How cool is that? Still going through its uh, testing stages, isn't it? Brian Stewart, American 737-800 Astrojet after the 319. Jaywall 86 has upgraded to first class. Welcome Jaywall. Andy Wilson is a new member. Welcome Andy. Ms. Liz, I got there. Um, what's that, what's that uh, profile picture? Is that a cat? What is that? I can't figure it out. Uh, Robert Dodd, I've got Robert Dodd. Yes, 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 don't quite understand that. <laughs> um, but welcome anyway, train spotter, Google largest 747 operator, is indeed at the sale with 52 aircraft. I think um, I got that, uh, I might got that wrong with the uh, with the whole UPS thing, but they're not far behind. Um, what was it 48, did you say? Um, but the largest, oh, hello, Astrojet. Is this the, uh, is this the retro livery? Oh, folks, you are being Oh, you are being treated. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Take a screenshot of this. What a re... Whoa, easy, son. Two for the price of one. Last seen in um, Chicago, in Italy. I think that jet that we last saw that. Chicago. At the simple, we purring away on CF6s. Nigel Cox, Katie Gardner, David T, Frank E. Cromer, Rod Moyes, Aidan Campbell, 
how many have Lufthansa got? Uh, well, they got a few, 747s, 400s and 800s, haven't they? Um, but certainly not on the numbers that these, uh, these operators do. Tripod issues, Brian Cassidy, Ian Byrne. On the 747 that landed, both inboard engines were shut down while waiting. Is that safe fuel? On the 747 that landed, both inboard engines were shut down while waiting. Sure. I'm, I'm Mr. Rigsby, only four seven four seven three hundreds in active service. Doesn't surprise me, to be honest with you. Thanks, Wayne. Yep. If you like what you see, folks, hit that like button. Four thousand two hundred people watching live right now from Miami International. She comes. Hopefully she's uh, hopefully she's heavy. She's got a big load on her. Your pal Palpatine. What a beautiful bird, man. <laughs> How cool is that? Right, DHL 767, and then we'll uh, jump onto our members. Jules Harris, loving it. Denise Brennan, can't wrap my head around how that thing gets off the ground. Yeah, well, it's all about uh, aerodynamics, isn't it? It's all relative to uh, size and so on and so forth. Dave Mack loving the sound. Awesome, everybody loving that. Seven Max Eight. Squ 
squeal that you sometimes hear, folks. That's uh, that's the uh, the runway itself is uh, grooved. It has grooves in it. Uh, that's not calling the gang. Um, it just has grooves in it. It's groovy. Uh, and also, a runway is also built not flat, but it has a, uh, a it's oval in the middle. So uh, lower at the sides, higher in the middle. So for water runoff, but also it's grooved to channel the water away and um, just uh, help keep the runway as dry as possible. Brazilian flag like that See, the kind of freight that comes off these jets with all different dimensions and types, engines, car parts, perishables. Tires, machinery, generators, and of course the big constant in uh, in this whole operation is the e-commerce uh, freight, which is your Amazons, your uh, you know your um, electrical goods iPhones, iPads, washing machines, tumble dryers, microwaves, <laughs> all that lot. Computers. Pork rolls. Well, yeah. Well, it's got to come from somewhere, isn't it? Hey, eh? hey. Eh? something uh, El Al's Dreamliner now yesterday we got a great example of um, the difference between these older engines like CF6's Pratt & Whitney's etc the multi-bladed engines um, you know uh, 26 blades in one engine whereas you've got like 16 blades in the other uh, this is a perfect example it's come oh it's just going the wrong way <laughs> Mind you, well, Al did come down this way yesterday, didn't it? No, she is coming down this way. Yeah, yeah. Um, so these are either Rolls-Royce or CF6 engines, one of the two. Um, but the, uh, the modern day um, next generation super twin engines, super engines, not super twin, but super engines, Fearful yesterday, didn't she? Oh, there she comes. Should we just wait for the Dreamliner, man? It's a, can we wait for the Dreamliner? <laughs> Sorry, folks. I just <laughs> and then we'll. I promise we'll go to we'll go to members. I promise you. Um, just can we wait for the Dreamliner, just so we can give people a, a, a real good idea of the difference between the two uh, the two types of engines this is the older type i think this is a cf6 engine possibly mike 
Clements. Not really, Mike. I know why you think that, but uh, you know, a lot of uh, US operators um, you know, over the years have Delta going all Airbus, is it? Is Delta going all? Robert Erickson, welcome Robert to first class. Captain Manny, wait for it. Here we go! some of these freighters, folks. No RB211s. Uh, I think they were uh, either CF6 or Pratt and Whitney's one of the two. Oh! <laughs> Avianca. These are uh, the Trent 700s powering this Avianca. All up freighter. Uh, now we talk about the jumbo uh, pure freighters folks. This is an all up um, factory finished um, uh, A330 freighter and the reason we know that is because of the, look at the chin underneath the, uh, the front end there with the, with the, uh, the housing for the, for the front undercarriage. Uh, see that chin uh, and that is because the aircraft in its normal state as, as a passenger jet has a pitch um, or a rake which um, is uh, high at the back, low at the front. Not massively, a bit like a 767-400, but um, in order to, um, to make it more compatible and um, user-friendly for, um, for the loading folks, um, for the freight loaders, uh, so that they don't have to physically massively like, use a lot of um, um, energy to push the, the freight although even so most of these things now have electronic systems in them uh, which they can um, manipulate and move the freight around the, the, um, the, the cabin um, but that just pushes the front of the aircraft up and now if you literally ran a, a spirit level from in the middle of that aircraft it would be more or less um, level and that's something that's done when the aircraft is manufactured you don't get any of these jets that have uh, have a retrofit system on it. Okay, so now you're gonna hear the big super bypass engines. Voiceless Druid has upgraded to first class. Good day to you. Screw it, looks like a bullfrog, does it? Jeffrey Kirk, good evening to you. Captain Manning, supposed to be flying Winnipeg, then Louisville, then Greensboro uh, tomorrow. Joe Thompson. Thank you, Joe. Good to see you here. Fast taxi for the LL Jet. See if he can. Uh, he's going to be sitting there for a little while. It's Jeremiah in it. Scott Thompson. Uh, ben Brown. Global reporting now that Spirit is moving towards bankruptcy. <gasps> Oh, spirit moving to, oh dear. Okay, that's not good, is it? Oh, they 
been going through a f quite a few financial problems. Oh my God, filing for bankruptcy. Someone's gonna pick them up though, aren't they? Someone will buy them out, surely. Is that purely because they can't compete in the, uh, in the marketplace, possibly? Rolls-Royce uh, Trent 1000s. The others a bigger market share, but yeah, it's a shame. Good to see spirit in the air, man. I like their uh, I like their aircraft. I like their liveries. And they just throwing their toys out of the pram then because they didn't get the merger. Possibly don't want to play anymore. Yeah, that's probably what will happen. Jet Blue will just pick them up for a, for a song. Looks like KLM, doesn't it? But, uh, it's not. I think this is pro possibly that. Uh, is it one of um, Jet Blue's? Jet, no. Oh, it's a Prime. Is it Prime? It is a Prime 737. There's a freighter for you, folks. Operating on behalf of Atlas Air. So, let's. Amazon Prime carrying Amazon products working on behalf of Atlas Air with, with an Atlas Air course. That's a bit odd, that, isn't it? Uh, any case. Oh, they're. Oh, they're leased from others. Okay. Oh, it's leased from Atlas Air. So it's. it's um, yeah, right. Okay. So it's. Yeah, it's at the says. Yeah. Right. Here we go. Now listen to these things wind up, man. section of that wing watch it flex up especially at the rotate point it's quite straight at the moment now it's picking up the flex angle changing of the wing now watch when she rotates watch this there she goes ah look at that flex man wow shows how far aviation has come in terms of uh, you know uh, noise pollution so quiet those um, those big high bypass engines not sucking in so much air through the, um, through the core of the engine 70% of it bypassing the core of the engine and being used as thrust by the front fan blades which is um, pretty impressive has to be said rather than um, all of the energy being uh, brought in through the uh, through the fan blades into the core of the engine could be quite a long wait for this guy Gordon Freeman so graceful Logan H04 Jeffrey Primus uh, Jeffrey Phillips sorry problem with the jet blue spirit motor is the loss of competition and the potential for big price increases yeah, they're surely not going to do that, are they? You know, the, the big four aren't going to all of a sudden put their prices up because the other ones, uh, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know. Man. Rick N's beautiful power lift. 
Mr Rigby motorbikes at Heathrow are far noisier than planes yet nobody can you're right you know you're right I mean obviously the planes are constant it's a constant thing you know it's not a motorbike racetrack um, but even so it's um, you know doesn't you could be quite easily be woken up at three in the morning by a, um, one of them loud motorcycles that uh, shouldn't be allowed on the road. I have to be honest with you, with, uh, with the loud pipes. Uh, they should be restricted. But there you go. That's just me being an old fart. <laughs> uh, does Boeing have any intention to make a freighter version of the 787 Alex Brown? Uh, no, Alex. Um, well, actually, I don't know. I, I don't think so. Um, obviously, um, uh, the A350 freighter is something that's um, going to be coming on stream over the next couple of years, I'd imagine. They're, uh, they're testing it at the moment. But obviously, it's a carbon, it's a carbon fuselage, isn't it? So it would be something that you couldn't convert. It would be something that you'd have to obviously factory make. Um, Sure, how they're doing that with the uh, airbus. Darren Jones, no motorbikes with a loud pipe. We're gonna, oh, <laughs> on a racetrack, Darren, uh, all day long. Um, the louder the pipe, the better for me. Uh, but not on the roads. I mean, uh, you know, unless it's a, unless it's a, unless it's not a loud pipe. But uh, the ones I'm talking about, are those ones on those small one two fives that have that sort of like, you know. Um, race bike sound no matter what revs they're at a big bike you know only has a loud pipe if you open it up normally leo densian uh, coletta inbound from anchorage we'll grab that later apricot crumble oh be hungry that is better name it Nailed that. It's a three one nine, is it? It's high. Yeah, three one nine. Oh, I'd be hated by everyone if I was a copper. I tell you. Well, be pulling them up all over left, right, and centre. Bobo quite busy for the landings, yeah. Uh, Barney Rubble, oh, Harley Davidson motorcycles. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if they're uh, if they're used correctly, Barney. I think they're all right. Captain Manny had an order for 380s as well, but nope. FDX. Uh, oh, FedEx had an order for 380s. Really? Uh, wow. What, in what variant? What, in, what, in what way? I don't... Oh, Avro Arrow, the Anchorage 747 is only 10 minutes out. Stuart, 737 400 um, is three out. This is a nice one if you're an aviation geek, folks. Uh, 737 400, um, one of the old um, pre NG jets, even though it runs the uh, CFM 56 engine, um, it's uh, uh, an aircraft with, I think, um, 
analog avionics, you know, the uh, not flyby wire. I think um, the NGs, uh, somebody mentioning this morning and correcting me as well that we were, uh, that they were uh, five, six, seven, eights, and nines, uh, the NGs. Um, we're going to have a very short lived funky shot here, parallel landing with a 757. Dirty Avianca, bless you. Trent 700s, here we go. Oh, Finn, there were plans to make a freighter version of the 380 years ago. And FedEx and UPS put in an order. Wow. That's insane. I'd love to have seen the... Because uh, you can't convert a passenger uh, 380 to a freighter, can you? You can't. Turn it, burn it. Good amount of wing flex on the outboard section of the wings on the 330 as well. Got a good, um, a good perspe perspective of that from my flight over here on VS117 on the 339. Um, incredible wing flex. Not so apparent on the Airbus as the Boeing. Peter Graham's gifted a membership. Thanks, Peter. Is your little 737. It's old school, man. This is old school. Look at this old thing, man. Make some noise. Gee, awesome sound of the freighter. Where's that? Hello, Virgin Tank. Has he been pushed back to, uh, to, uh, yes, Philip Barry said, for example. Okay, GP. Um, well, I think that's it, folks. Thank you so much for, uh, for tuning in. A220. One more, one more, one more. This is quite a rare one. Not rare, but uh, nice to see Air Canada. This is the one that we saw operating this morning. A220. Okay, so hold on a minute. We've got an Ameri Jet 767. And a, and a 747 in after this, yeah? Okay, okay, okay. I'll show you. <laughs> it's almost like, uh, sort of like, you know, I mean, at some point we're gonna have to say, right, that's it, but you know, we need a good, good, solid reason to say, no, that's it. Um, and I, you know, there's a lot of, aviation fans out there who love their aeroplanes and um, love their jumbo jets so to give them one more shall we give them one more jumbo so uh, between that and the jumbo we'll have a 767 freighter 
uh, pay to girl thanks to the lovely people who gifted memberships i'm able to join the members only stream once again thank you so much there we go 220 will be less and less rare in the coming years brian stewart you're right um obviously it's an airbus uh it was originally the um Look at this lovely old thing. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're, we're gonna draw the line after the jumbo, folks. That's gonna be it. Got to look after our members, um, and we are very grateful for our members allowing this. Um, we always put it to the vote, folks. And um, unanimously, it always uh, is. Uh, I think this is the same variant of 737. The guys at uh, up at um, oh, where is it? Jumbo, that's it. So the Merry Jet's going in on. Is he going in on 12? Is he going on 12 or is he going in on the, the top runway? I think he has. Captain America. Look at that for a livery, folks. No, that's definitely not 927. That's either on 12 or it's uh, Northern Runway. Oh, it's, this is 927, yeah. We're on 927s here, yeah. Um, I think that one's going up on the Northern Runway. But uh, anyway, here we go, folks. To all the free of you have before. DP Den. What day is it? DP Den, welcome. Meaning. Thank you, it's David. Another on top connect, 747 point. Members stay, uh, what do I do, Jilly? Do I say members stay where you are? I don't quite to. Okay, the link's pinned apparently, folks. Uh, thank you to everybody for tuning in. It's been great to see you. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day, wherever you are. Uh, sleep well, be good, be happy, be safe, and uh, we will catch you. Uh, I will be back uh, on Freeview this coming Sunday. 
at London Heathrow, uh, we believe there's going to be a bit of wind, so uh, get ready to tune in for that one. Thanks everybody, see you later. Members, stay right where you are, I think. Uh, Chili will let you know. No, uh, members, uh, you will be, what, what do they do? Uh, you'll begin, you'll get a prompt. Um, you'll get, I've been doing this for seven years. How, why, how is it? I just don't know by now. Uh, but anyway, whatever. Um, thank you everybody, we'll see you in a bit. Okay.